I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. We may take our seats for a while. Uh, it's a privilege once more again to be in the house of the Lord. Uh, uh, we are so uh, in 2020. Uh, what is the date today? 30 August. We don't know the date. 30 August. God bless you, Brother Mumbo. Amen. Um, 30 August 2020, the pastor was away and he came. Uh, those were the COVID days. He walked in, uh, dressed almost like he was, and I was the one preaching. So, today again is another 30 August. So I was listening to that message. You know, God does strange things, you know. Yeah. So I was already expecting him to come because God follows certain patterns, you know. You know, Moses was called at the age of 40. How many of you know that? And then he ran away for how many years? 40 years. Huh? Then he died at the age of 120 after another 40 years. So things of God run in a certain cycle. We may not know it, but there's a God who watches. So next year, the same day, I want to take a service. <laughs> Amen. Uh, we have such a wonderful pastor, and I'm so glad to see the servants of God in the house. And may God bless you all. I will not be the best, but it follows uh, it falls my lot. I'm so happy to see my son, Brother Norton. Uh, we've traveled well from Zuzu and Brother Minja. And all of you, may God bless you for coming tonight. Amen. I didn't see Caleb, my friend, today. Uh, Caleb, come here. Our song again. I said these things run in cycles. I'll be reading from the book of Habakkuk. And you know that song that goes with Habakkuk. <laughs> we'll just read a little more. Just that song again, Lord, we give you thanks. How many would like to give God thanks? Amen. The main thing when we come to his house is to worship him. In the meantime, we shall read further verses in Habakkuk chapter 2. I am so blessed, my soul has found rest, oh Lord, I give you thanks. Do you give him thanks now? Sing thanks, thanks, I give you thanks for all you done. Lord, I am so blessed, my soul has found rest, oh Lord, I give you thanks, Sing thanks. Thanks, I give you thanks for all you done. For all you have done for me, oh, I am so blessed. Sing, I am so, I am so blessed, 
bless you, Caleb. We love you. You carry my name. It's not your ability. It's not your running. Just having faith in his word will take you across. All the heroes of faith that you read in Hebrews 11 are in heaven. Yes, sir. And they are there just because of faith in the finished works. Amen. Aren't you glad? Habakkuk chapter 2 we shall read. I will stand upon my watch and sit me upon the tower. And I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I'm reproved. And the Lord answered me. This is the Lord's answer. This is not a man speaking. And said, write the vision and make it plain upon the tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end, it shall speak. In other words, it will not vanish, it will not deteriorate, it will come into manifestation. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. I mean, believe every vision will come to pass. Brother Pranam says, I've seen thousands of vision. He says, you're all witnesses, and not one of them has ever failed. Yes, that the God of Habakkuk that we are still serving. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come it will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just shall live by his faith. How many will say, I just want to live by faith? That faith will rapture you. That faith will give you food on the table. That faith will heal your sick body. Hallelujah. That same faith can give you a baby. Hallelujah. If you are barren, yes, whatever you need, Amen. the just shall live, not by money, but by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Dear precious Heavenly Father, you told Abraham to count the stars. He said, I can't. You said, so shall thy seed be. He believed it. And you counted it for him for righteousness. We are righteous today, not because we've done great works, not because we spoke in tongues, not because we have a lot of money, but because we live by faith. Your Bible has plainly stated, the just shall live by faith. We come by faith tonight against the forces of darkness. Some may be sick tonight with faith in your word that by his stripes we are healed. It may tarry, it may wait, but it will be fulfilled at the appointed time. So many people here with so many requests and needs, you will not fail them. You have never embarrassed your people. Abram waited 25 years. The vision never failed. Isaac came. We've been waiting for 2,000 years. The rapture will still come. Help us to believe. Speak through us. Help me. We thank you for this assembly. We thank you for the pastor, the deacons, the ministers present here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We may take our seats. Now, I want to say, as the Bible shall live by faith, 
Now, if you look in the whole Bible, when God favored certain people, it wasn't by their ability, it wasn't by their works. And if we read those of us that can, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 11, I want you to rest and relax for those that are waiting for anything. Someone might receive it earlier than you. Don't frustrate. Your day is coming. Don't even compete. God knows your name. He has favored you. The faith that you have, even if it's mustard seed faith, it will bring you the results. Ecclesiastes 9.11 says, I returned and saw under the sun, ah, today you are very fast, that the race is not to the swift, nor of the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. So all of us, God will give us a time, a season, for a certain fulfillment without fail. Now, any delay does not mean denial. It's an advantage to you. Brother Branham says, Isaac came after 25 years. He was a gentleman. He said he came with an interest. Whatever delays, it will come with an interest with special favors. So don't ever compete. The race is not to the swift. Bread is not for the, to the wise. The race is not even for the swift. The battle is not for the strong. But if a faith in the vision that God has given for this hour, just wait. In its own appointed time, God will fulfill it without fail. Genesis 18, verse 13 to 14. When the time arrives for the fulfillment to be done, God will bring the miraculous. Because not bypass the appointed time. He will not come before. He will not be overtaken. Whatever needs to be done in this service, God will do the miraculous to make sure that it will happen today. Abraham was old. Sarah was old. Genesis 12, he was called. Genesis 13, Genesis 14, Genesis 17, then Genesis 18, still the baby was not there. But God had not forgotten. And I'm saying God has not forgotten. If you read in Revelation 5, when the Lamb takes the book, there is someone comes holding a vial full of prayers of the saints. We means every prayer that you pray it's deposited in heaven. One day it will be released and your answer will come at the unexpected time, unexpected place. How many of you believe that? So don't be discouraged. The fact that someone has it and someone doesn't have it does not annul the vision. Brother Branham prayed for two people. One at a goiter, one at an ulcer. He prayed for them. 
They went. One week passed, nothing happened. The coiter was there, the ulcer was there. Two weeks passed, the one with the goiter hate it. But David said, mercy and goodness shall follow me all the days of my life. When the blessing was pronounced on the pulpit, the angel of the Lord's goodness, it followed those people wherever they go. Now let me be quick to say, the one holding the results by effort and the one holding a promise but no results. The one holding a promise and no results yet has got greater value. Are you hearing that? Esau had his mountain given he settled on Mount Edom very fast. But he had no birthright. He had no promise. But on Jacob, there were the blessings of his father. He looked like a fugitive. But God's goodness was following him all the days of his life. When he lay on a rock, on a pillow, he saw angels ascending and descending. When he went to Laban's place, God was with him. Wherever he was, God was with him. Eventually, he came back and that the Israel that we know today, God brought him to occupy a land. So you might look like a fugitive. You might look like a lost out. But there is a blessing following you all the days of your life. Even when you are sick. Even when you are broke. There is a blessing following you. For the vision, though it tarry, God is holding it, waiting for an appropriate time holding it for an appropriate season, as sure as God spoke it, it will happen. The problem that we have is if somebody receives it earlier, we get under pressure. Look at the pressure that happened between Rachel and Leah. When Rachel had children, oh sorry, Leah had children faster, Rachel went into an argument with his husband. Give me children or we'll die. You know, we are all called different days. The way God deals with us, it's different days. Let's never compare one another. That will take away competition. Are we happy? Yes. Somebody may get a job and you don't have. That doesn't mean God is looking down on you. It simply means he's holding your blessing. And the more he delays, the more interest you get. I read a certain story where somebody went into a restaurant and the others were served very fast. And his meal came after two hours. He said, why did you treat me like this? And at times we say, why do you treat me like this? So and so is this, so and so is this, so and so is this. But why me, Lord? And at times we get frustrated and even don't want to come to church. And the owner of the hotel said, he came himself. Says these other people were not important guests. But to me you are very important. Me the owner of the restaurant. Was preparing a special meal for you. God is preparing a special meal for you. God is preparing a special healing for you. God 
God is preparing something that will need a bit of time so that when you get it, it at its best. When it comes, it will not tarry. It will carry value. I hope I'm taking pressure from people. People are going to death because somebody's got a house. They are trying to compete. But the creator himself knows you by name. He knows where you are. I mean, why did God wait 25 years when he could have done it the same day? Now, God's promises are conditioned to his purposes. Are we together? Now, if I'm driving a car, there's a hooter, isn't it? Do I always put on the hooter and pee, 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 pee? I say I haven't used it for a long time. Pim, 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 pim. You only use it when there is a need. Is that right? You don't put emergency brakes every time. Say, no, I haven't used these brakes. Emergency brakes for a long time. You've got your family there. All of a sudden, you go, Gee! and everybody's going like this. We don't need miracles every day. People manufacture miracles because they feel the other church's testimonies. People give false testimonies. We don't need to do that. When the need arises, the prophet says the third pool has been identified. It's here. He says it was identified. A little fish was given its life after it was dead. Squirrels were created. Then for his wife, he says, if you remember from Sunday, you regulate your blessings when they come. When the hour comes, start regulating it the way you want because it's going to happen. How many are going to do that? His wife got a tumor. Is that right? When she banged the door. And it was in the time when the third pool is supposed to manifest. And he gave conditions, Brother Branham. He first started by intercession. She's my wife. She goes through a lot. Please, Lord, don't, don't allow her to die. Then he says, which I want you to catch, before the doctor touches her, she may go to the hospital, but Lord, I want to regulate this thing because the hour has arrived, the hour for the third pool, it will happen, and let me regulate it a little bit. Puts his knife. May she be healed. Is that our privilege? Are we allowed to regulate things? Don't sit idle. Take a move. When is the season? Regulate it the way you want. And the sister went to hospital. She was laid on the, on the bed. And the doctor came. All the knives were put there. Everything said the knives. Everything tested, tested to see if the thing is there. And the doctor took his knife and God is watching. And I'm saying God is watching. He knows what you said. Do you know that when David went into a cave, First Samuel 26, and there was lying uh, Saul, and the generals of David said, let's kill him. David, no, 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 I won't touch the Lord's anointed. Is that right? 
She says, leave him alone. Maybe one day he will descend into battle and he will die there. Did the Lord hear it? I, in battle. I tell you, we are not too small for God not to answer I pray. Even when we are talking, God is hearing our conversation. He, all the blessings of the Lord will be following you all the days of your life. Amen. Even for the one with the greater your heart. Even now, it's following you. Do you know when you raise your hand and say amen, that's very powerful. It's very important to come to church. It's very important to agree with the word. Hallelujah. Sister, hate it right. Just say it, amen. That's nothing but the truth, Brother Branham. Right there, heavens came down. Melchizedek, the king of Salem, left heaven, came to Kentucky in a little room, and the whole room was breathing with the blessings of the Holy Spirit. It was seen by Isaiah. Now I'm be drunk on the Spirit. I'm a drunkard in the house of the Lord. Do you know a drunkard doesn't care about anybody? He will go on top of the tombs where everybody's afraid and say, come up if you want to challenge me. Now we are drunk. We want to go to the devil's territory and challenge him right there. Don't take a sip of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, be drunk with the Spirit. You won't have any, any enemies of us. Do you know, drunk man is always greeting everybody. Hello, guys. And even giving out money. Here is money. When you are drunk, you are not even mean. You don't even know that I gave a person a 10 kwacha or 100 kwacha. You don't put your hand in the pocket before the offering and just check. Then if it's a 2 kwacha or you demand change. When you are drunk, Hallelujah. you realize you are broke. God loves it. Hallelujah. How many want to be drunk tonight? The problem we just drink a little bit of the Holy Ghost. Enough to put a long dress. We want the Holy Ghost. That will make you so drunk. You are not afraid of the enemy. You are not afraid of cancer. Say cancer. If you want to stay there, stay. But I don't want you. I'll keep testifying. I'll keep giving God the glory. One day you'll go. Drunk of the spirit. You are not conscious of your sickness. Even if you are sick, you just keep walking as if you are normal. Why? You are drunk of the oil and the wine. Any genuine believer with the oil of the Holy Ghost... If they get the true spirit, they'll be so stimulated until they'll be like a drunk person. They don't care. I don't care. And tonight, even if you don't believe, do you know a real drunk person can buy beer for everybody in the house? You say, no, count, count yourselves, count yourselves. 30, okay. How much is a cup? a pint or whatever. Go to the cashier. Here's your money. Give them. He's so drunk. And today I'm so drunk, friends. Even if you don't believe, I can believe for you. Let me use my money to dish out your healing. What you fear, I don't fear. What affects you is not affecting me. Nothing 
It's impossible to them that believe whatever you need. The just shall live by faith. The prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It can produce seven truckloads of crutches. One man from Kentucky with one prayer. He was so drunk with the Holy Ghost. He teached out his faith. Believed for those Africans. The mayor of the city recognized it. He followed those truckloads. When everybody was singing, only believe, only believe, all things are possible to them that believe. The court of Habakkuk is here. Paul the vision tarry. It will come to pass. It will not mutate. It's immutable. Immutable means it cannot change with time. Time is not a factor. I don't care how long it has taken. I don't care who you are. I'm so drunk. I mean it. If it doesn't happen, come talk to me. Come talk to me if it doesn't happen. The prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elijah prayed. It did not rain for three years and six months. He prayed again. It rained. One man in the hands of God can do damage to the devil's kingdom. And tonight, we are not here to compromise with the devil. Reverend, Reverend Marufu, is he around? We are not related to the devil. The devil is not our uncle. We don't carry the same DNA. Do you know there are people, if they are afraid to talk to somebody, they will go and get drunk. And when they are drunk, they will say what's in their heart. And today I want to say what's in my heart. The devil is a liar. The devil is a bluff. The devil cannot hold this church anymore. Yeah. How many of you believe that? Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days. On Monday, it's following me at the airport. Goodness and mercy was following him when he got in the plane. Goodness and mercy was following him when he sat on the seat, when the fuel went out, and there was his servant. He says, Lord, surely goodness and mercy. You are not designed for disasters. Oh, no, no. You are not designed for disasters. You are designed to be followed. Not by evil spirits. Not by ancestral spirits. Not by family spirits. You are designed specially to be full every day. When you make on Monday, they are renewed. I don't care what you've done the past day. They are renewed. On a Tuesday, they are renewed. It's a constant recharge. And Brother Branham says, when you feel like saying amen, God has brought your theophany close to you to recharge you, to heal you. That theophany is following you. You have heard from your theophany. It's following you all the days. And one day, you'll be going to the pastor's house. It's a quotation. 
One day you'll be going to the pastor's house and you find your feet are light. Then you're already in the rapture. It shows when the rapture happens, they'll still be pastors. If the prophet who said it, you'll be going to the pastor's house. What about the ones that were healed of the goit? Amen. After three weeks, the angel of the Lord remembered what happened on the book. These words tonight, they don't end here. If you just have said amen, something is following you. Whether you get in the car, in the bus, it's following you. To bring to pass what you believe. How many of you believe that? Friends, it's time to rejoice. Don't put on a sad face. Don't look what's in your pocket. It's the appointed time. The miraculous happen. You'll even laugh. Do you know Sarah laughed in Genesis 21? When she could. Is this Cyrus? A middle Persian whose laws cannot change. My friends, Whatever it couldn't change because it's the appointed time. We want to change it. Materially. And I'm not waiting for 31 December or 40 December. No, no. December or 40 December. No, no. I want to say Happy New Year. Before you get there, make it. Faith cometh by hearing. We have heard what God did at the Red Sea. We have heard how God fought for you. But I'm also asking a token. Are we together? Meantime, don't forget about that lady looking for a goiter in the sheets. God counted it for. There shouldn't be any difference. The Bible says just wait and just balances. Somebody wanted to break the feet of Jesus. The weight of the promise was not one bone will be broken. He came determined and the devil is determined to destroy you. But you are a son of a promise. God was looking on his promise. There comes that man with a big hammer. He wants to break his legs, test his pulse, he's already dead. He says, if he's dead, why should I break? And the Bible says, that the scriptures might be fulfilled. For those that like to go home. You know, there's people that really come to church, but they just wait for enclosing. For the sake of those enclosing. But you know, there was one preacher also who used to come to church putting on something that would and the wife put on a button the other day. He went one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Then they said, but you usually keep time. He said, no, instead of a lifesaver, my wife put on a button. So you don't even know whether I've got a button or not. But here it is. Somebody comes to the platform. And both eyes. There is no eyes in the sockets. Right? And they come to the pulpit. And Brother Branham says, this is the hour for this woman to receive a sight. I'm saying what Isaiah said. Did Isaiah say a virgin shall conceive? Did it happen? Did the same mouth say by his tribes were healed? The other one is in Isaiah 9, 7, sorry, Isaiah 7, the other one is Isaiah 53. Wherever it is, is the same mouth. It will happen. The same mouth that said, let there be a squirrel. And it was. The same mouth said, I'll shoot an animal 42 inches. Once. There will be a boy with a green checkered shirt. And there was no boy with a green checkered shirt. And everything is ready. 
but God was what? And he has ate peace cow, he falls in the ground, into mud, he opens his back, he puts on a green shirt, then he was in the vision. And tonight, you may not have been seeing yourself, you are in the vision now. I may believe they are now in the vision. Anything can happen now. And then Brother Branham shoots the animal and ate this cow. That particular day carried a tape measure. He measured. He says 42 inches to the dot. There is an equality between the promise and the fulfillment. There is no difference. And this day, this scripture of Malachi 4, cook. We can say what we want. When you are drunk, you say what you want. Even if you want chicken, when there's no chicken in the home, you'll quarrel with your wife. I want my chicken. It's not here. Go bring my chicken. And we are so drunk on the spirit today. We are asking God things that he promised us. He will not deny us. He will not deny you. Is ready to give you. Can you say amen? amen? Brother Branham said, I'll also get another animal called a silver tip gri grizzly bear. And Bart Southwick said, Not in this country. We are already near according to your vision. He says, But don't doubt me. If it's not there, God will bring it. You remember Oscar? He lost his horses. And Brother Branham says, I saw a vision. You'll find them. Then he sees them after maybe two years standing in snow. Brother Branham says, how they survived, I don't know. I'm saying your condition, I don't know. But whatever you need, in the ice of conditions, in the most difficult conditions, the hour has come. You'll have it. In the name of the Lord. I don't care how difficult. I don't care who you are. If God has said it, it will happen. Not only that, but with a bonus. Praise God. God will give you a word. The just shall live by faith. You are the just ones tonight. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what people spoke about you. God spoke you into the book of life. No one can speak you out. Hallelujah. How many will say, Lord, I thank you tonight for the many good things you've done. I was unworthy of it, Brother Chris Panda. I didn't deserve it but you did it anyhow. You are unworthy to be here. I had bleeding ulcers myself. I almost died. But God reached me. He healed those ulcers. Today, I'm giving people their healing for ulcers. I was seated with one guy, he had ulcers, he couldn't eat chima. I said, that's cheap bread for me. It's chima. From today, he is eating. If you have got that problem today, go and eat your chima. We are here to receive. Freely we have received. Ulcers is nothing in the hands of God. To God, let's say what we want. We are drunk enough to even say, I want an aeroplane. A drunk, broke man can say, I'm going to buy a Rolls Royce. Don't argue with me even when he's drunk. Today all things are possible to them that believe. How many of you believe that? Let's stay drunk the way you are. I'm glad I'm preaching to drunkards. Keep drinking and drinking and drinking and say wild things ridiculous to the world a paradox 
You think a normal man can say his son stands still? When a big Lord, but a man can actually have the boldness of his son stand still. You moon hang over there. When you are in the anointed David, may God cease, but it will be breathing. I'm glad to have preached to you. May God bless May God things that he has never done. He has done great things. How many will say, bless the Lord? Brother Noto. How many believe God has done great things? If we should sense, oh my soul.